Hello everyone, it's your Prince of the Saiyans, Vegeta, and I'm here again for some more story time. You guys have been really enjoying it, so I thought I'd do a tufa. So here we go. Uh, there was this one guy who came into my life, and um, he just, you know, he, as soon as I got a message from him, I knew he was weird, because he was like, I just want to get to know you, I want to, you know, I, I just want to get to know you, man. I just, I just need to you know, establish a connection. It's like, what? Sounds very, sounds very, um, you know, homoerotic right there a little bit. And I no offense to people that are gay. I have no, I, I don't care. I mean, if you're gay, that's cool, but I'm not gay. So when someone's coming on to me, I'm a little bit, okay, man, um, I appreciate the uh, sentiment, but I'm married. I am, you know, I'm straight. But anyway, what ends up happening is that he proceeds to send me messages every day like, Oh, Vegeta, you're so cool. Oh my god, Vegeta, come on, get in a Skype call with me. Ah, la 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 la. Eventually I cave in. I'm like, whatever, he's a big fan of the Vegeta, so I'm gonna get in. I get in the call. I'm in there. He proceeds to ask me to add him to every group I'm in on Skype. On the first day of meeting him. Okay, first day, he's asking to be added to all of the Skype groups, and I'm like, really? Oh dear God, what's going on here? Red flag number one, or number two in this case, I suppose. But anyway, what ends up happening then is, um, I would mention some of my friends in passing, and I won't say their names, but I would say, Oh, so-and-so did this. He was a funny bastard. And he would be like, who's that? I'd say they were my friend. And he'd say, no, I mean their whole name. And I'd say, uh, I don't think I should tell you that. Uh, but anyway, the Skype call ends. And I'm like, maybe he's just fanboying, right? I'm thinking, maybe he's just fanboying. Maybe he's just, you know, doing his little thing. But what ends up happening is he proceeds to do this over and over and over and over. Like, he messages me constantly. He does the same thing. So, you know, eventually I'm thinking, maybe he's just a fanboy. You know, when you start out and shit, maybe I feel like I could help the kid. You know, I felt like I could help him be better than what he was. Because he's a voice actor and, you know, I'm a voice actor too. And I felt like, hey, need to help this guy out. Maybe I can help tutor him. You know, he, he sent me messages before, but that doesn't really count as knowing someone because, you know, it's whatever. I didn't really respond. But anyway, get him into another call with another associate friend of mine. Basically, he was another YouTuber like myself, who I'm really good friends with. And um, he proceeds to talk to us and etc, etc. And... um. Next day goes by and he asks me about this group that I'm in where there's a lot of big YouTubers and stuff like that, right? And he's like, could you add me in there? I want to establish some connect with, you know, I want to get in there and make some connections and network, brah. Come on, man. You want to really hear what he sounded like? He said, I just want to make some connections, man. That's what he really sounds like. But anyway, I'm just going to tell him that I'm going to ask the person who's in charge of the group. But I'm not. So I'm like, well, I gotta ask the guy in charge and we'll see if we can add you to the group. And he's like, oh, yeah, man, go ahead, bro. But anyway, what happens is, is I don't even do it because I, I'm like, I don't even know you, dude. I've known you for a couple of days. Whatever, right? So we get back in call with me and my friend and him. And then, you know, he, uh, we have a good conversation. But every time I would mention, I would mention someone He'd be like, what's his name? And my other friend so happened to give him the last name. I'm like, wait, red flag again. There's something wrong here. He's asking for last names. Why would he ask for those names? He's up to something. Something's going on. My crazy bitch meter is going off at this point. But I end the call and then, well, I didn't really end the call. I left the call, I should say. But um, he messaged me after I left the call. He was like, hey, did you ask that guy in charge if I could join the group? I said, um, you know, uh... Yeah, I did. Uh, but he said you couldn't. I didn't. At this point, I've known him for about four days. So I said, you know what? I know that he's not going to like you and he's going to remove you this moment he meets you. So I'm like, no, whatever, man. I don't know you enough anyway. No. But anyway, he uh, proceeded to be like, oh, man, I just want to make some connections. Come on, if you give me the chance, blah, blah, blah. Whatever. 
Finally said, mm, you know what? Okay, you do you, you do you. Yeah, he said, do you, do you. He said it like that. And what happened then was, is that he proceeded to ask my other friend who he's still in call with, beg and pleaded with him to add him to the group. He added him to the group. And the first thing this guy says when he, oh, he gets in the Skype group, <laughs> Me guys, I just wanted to establish myself and make some connections and network with all y'all. Is it okay if I add all y'all or no? That's exactly how he said it. Is it okay if I add all of y'all or no? I don't know why he said it like that. He's not even Southern. I got in call with him. He doesn't even sound Southern. That don't make no sense. But no one responded to that. No one responded, but he proceeded to add it. He proceeded to add everyone in the Skype call and he didn't even know them. And um, anyway, what happens then is as weeks go by, what ends up happening then is he stays in the group, whatever. And he's been wanting to meet this real famous person who's in the group. You guys who are fans of me probably know who this person is. I'm not going to say names, but he found out that he was in the group and he's like, oh man, what's his schedule? When's he on Skype? Because he hadn't been on Skype for a while. He's been busy streaming and all that good shit, putting out those videos, that good material that you love. He was doing that shit. But, you know, he was like, I need to know his schedule so I can get to talk with him. When's he on, man? And we were like, whatever, dude, he will find you. He will come to you if he wants to meet you. Anyway, what ends up happening is the day he meets him, you know, he uh, gets a little envious. He's like, whatever, man. He attacked his fans and said, your fans, why don't you get one of your fans to buy you so and so and so and so. And I'm like, well, look at here. Somebody's a little, little pissy. And what happens is, is that it goes on and on. And he eventually gets kicked out after meeting him. He's kicked. He's gone. Then he gets everyone that has any... You know, any, any, everyone else into another group. He makes a group. He's like, hey, everyone, I, 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 I just want all of you to know that I'm sorry, okay? I'm very sorry. I, I have a lot of problems going on, and I just have a lot of issues, you know? And I, I, I just want you guys to call in favors and tell everyone I'm sorry and add me back to the group. And I'm like, yeah, um... You pissed off the guy in charge of the group. You're not getting back in. No, no, man. Well, whatever. You do you. You do you. So, you know, whatever. He's still friends with a lot of these people. Whatever, right? We're trying. And I, I, you know, I get into call with him. I'm like, first of all, dude, you keep saying networking and connections all the time. You need to stop saying that shit because you have no name. He's been voice acting for two months. Or four! Maybe it was four! I don't even remember, but it was something like that. He had been acting for that long. And he's doing this shit, right? He's like, yeah, making connections, bro. After I give him that one-on-one -on -one talk, and I'm like, dude, you need to stop that shit. And he's like, yeah, you're right, man, you're right. Then my wife, Bulma, messaged me and said, hey, this guy so-and-so just messaged me and said he was your best friend, so I added him. I've known this guy for two weeks, guys. Two fucking weeks! And I saw the message. He said, and you know what he said? He, so she added him because she, he said he was my best friend. And he said this. Hey, I hear when you go see Vegeta, he's going to bone you really hard. That's what he said after he got added. That's some weird, creepy shit, right? Who says bone anyway? That's some weird shit, man. This guy's 18 years old, by the way. He's a grown man. He's not a little kid, just so all of you know. But anyway... What ends up happening then is, is that I'm like, I'm getting a revelation. I'm like, wait, he said he was my best friend. I need to check and cross check and check again. So I messaged a lot of my friends. Turns out this guy got on my Facebook and he found everyone I was friends with and told them all that I was his best friend and I said to add them. I never told him any such fucking thing. And I got, no, you motherfucker. No, we ain't having none of that shit. You ain't using my name to meet some people. Fuck that. So I get in a call with a lot of my friends. And uh, we, we, you know, we talk about it. And I tell him, no, he's not my friend, et cetera, et cetera, blah, blah, blah. What ends up happening then is, is that I say, hey, I'm not telling you to block him. I'm not telling you to remove him. Just be wary. He's using my name. Whatever. I'm blocking the bitch as soon as I leave. 
Anyway, some people were blocking him in the call. Some people, after they heard some of the shit he was doing, they're blocking him. Like, fuck that. No, I'm not around that shit. So, what ends up happening then is that after some people are blocking him, I get this long ass message, right? Hey man, I don't know what I did wrong. Everyone's blocking me and removing me. All I wanted to do was make connections and establish a network with everyone. Why? I'm shaking, bro. I'm shaking. And as soon as he sent that message, I blocked him. I didn't even give him the satisfaction of telling him why. I just blocked him. That's for cheetah. He got for cheetah. He got for cheetah hard, man. Bam! You don't even get a notice. You just get removed. And then what ends up happening is he messes all these other people saying he copy pasted the same shit he said to me, but my name was in it. But he copy pasted my name. He didn't even change the name to every person. He just said, he, he just, he said, yeah, Pacina, Pacina. He said it to everyone. That's some funny shit, right? So what ends up happening then is months go by. I'm thinking, ah, oh, it's over. It's over, right? So, but we had a friend who was a mutual acquaintance of that said person, and he was actually cool, and I talked to him. Anyway, he would mess. He 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 got in call with me, and he was like, "Dude, this guy is bringing your name up twenty four seven. He's always. I just wanna squash the beef with the cheetah. <laughs> I just wanna squash the beef. And the way he would say that, it sounded very." Very, he said it in a way that you wouldn't say to somebody you were friends with. He said it in a way that you would say to some, he said it in a way that you would say it to your, you know, ex. Like, I just want to squash the beef with Vegeta. I just want to squash the beef. So, what ends up happening then is, is that I'm like, whatever, he wants to squash the beef. He, he, he wants to squash, what he wants to squash is something else between his butt cheeks. That's what he wants. But I'm not going to do that. No. But anyway, and then he would get in call with some people and he would say, Yeah, this guy named Bachita, he threw me under the bus. He threw me under the bus and he did all these things to me. Yeah, he's mean. And then in one breath, he would be like, I just want to squash the beef with you. I just want to squash the beef with Bachita. And I'm like, well, this guy has mental issues. You know, I'm thinking, man, he has some real serious issues. And months go by, there's a good bit of months go by, and he's still talking about me to people. But this is where shit goes down. And I mean really goes down. He got a couple of his friends together and thought it'd be really funny to fuck with the Prince of Saiyan's woman. He gave her Skype out to some people. And then he proceeded... And I'm not even joking. He proceeded to get his friends and said, Yeah, you guys, why don't you go sing? <laughs> We're gonna fuck with Vegeta's girl. <laughs> We're gonna fuck with her. Yeah, I want you guys to sing her. Yeah, I want you guys to tell her you want to have sex and bone her. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Send her, send her all that good shit. <laughs> and they proceeded to send her profanity and all that shit. And, uh, the Prince of Saiyans was not pleased. And, uh, how I know it was that guy? Well, this is the thing. I'm in another group that I am in with him that he doesn't know I'm in. And, uh, he proceeded to add that person in question that sent my girlfriend, Bulma, who he proceeded to add that person who had been harassing her. One of them, anyway. And they all started in the same day, so it was obviously someone, someone orchestrated it. So... As soon as I saw him add that, I was like, oh, you motherfucker, it's about to go down. You thought I was bad before. I'm about to go Super Saiyan Golden God on your ass. But what ends up happening is some other friends getting called with him. And they're like, hey, Vegeta wants to get you in Skype. He's like, what? Vegeta wants to get in Skype call with me? I mean, I guess. I mean, um, but I'm a little busy with my bro here. I'm trying to make some connections. He's really big on YouTube. He has, he has a hundred subs. <laughs> hundred subs? Wow, that's big. Big time. Ha! Okay. Uh, so I wait for an hour. He doesn't show up. I'm like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm done. I'm done with this. That's it. Fuck you. Hey, what happened was is that a friend of mine made a cover, very colorful Photoshop 
of that said person. And I proceeded to drop that Photoshop picture into the chat where he could see it. And then he proceeded to be like, that's not funny. That's not funny at all. That's not, that's not cool. And um, what ended up happening then is, is that I never spoke to him again and I left. I dropped that picture. That was it. It, was, it wasn't even that bad, but it was very colorful. It was very beautiful in my opinion. But I left. That was it. That was the end of the story for me. And, um, you know, it felt really good. I didn't really feel like I needed to get in call and go ham on him. At that point, I was like, you know what? I'm just going to drop this big bang of a Photoshop in here and then proceed to galligan my ass on out. Stage left. That's the story of the guy who wants to network and make connections and squash the beef. So if you guys want to hear more story time, just leave some comments down below and let me know that you want some more story time and I'll be more than happy to oblige you all. This has been your Prince of the Saiyans. Subscribe for more of me.